Good morning. Wanted to bring you guys along for a little weekend in my life. I am currently about to go and work out. Um, I do work out at the YMCA, so we are going to a bar class this morning. That's why I'm kind of looking a little rough. I need to throw my hair up. I did just put some towels in the laundry. I literally just broke my little elephant. I got this in Animal Kingdom or Epcot in Africa. I can't remember, but I just dropped him off my table and look. He's survived so long. He's also missing part of his ear. He's really going through it. So maybe I can, I know the rest of it is over here. So maybe I can put him back together this evening. <laughs> so sad. This poor guy, he's been kind of dropped maybe a few too many times. That being said, after we go and work out, I do have a few errands to run. So I need to run to the bookstore because they have the Emily Henry Happy Place paperback and i need to add it to my collection so i'm gonna go get that groceries target things of that sort so and i also need to start a new book today because i haven't been reading the past like week and i definitely want to get back into reading for my weekend so let's go ahead and get today started we have quite a few fun things planned throughout my little weekend I got it. Thankfully, um, I literally, I went searching and it wasn't in any of the places it would normally be, but I did find it, the paperback of Happy Place. It's gonna match the rest of my Emily Henry books. I have held off on buying this book so that I could get the paperback that'll match her other books that I have. And I definitely wanna reread this this year. Um, this was my number one book of last year. It made me feel all the things as like a new adult. So I have like swooped into Target really quick and literally bought tea a card for my roommate's birthday and Reese's eggs. Okay, we are officially getting ready. Tonight is the Taylor Swift dance party i am so excited like a little crazy right now i just washed off the self tan that i put on a little bit earlier because i was looking quite pale we are just coming out of winter so i have not quite gotten that tan back yet but we are all showered now i'm gonna put on some makeup do my hair let me show you what i'm thinking for my outfit tonight okay this is what i'm thinking for tonight just this cutie little pink dress it ties right here and then i have some little sunglasses oh uh, this was a pretty last minute night so we decided to do this literally earlier this week so this is kind of what i could throw together i also have this be fun beautiful little costume i just don't have nude tights to be able to put on underneath it and it is pretty short comes up pretty tall on the sides so for right now i'm gonna hold off on this maybe i'll wear this to the concert whenever i go again in indy in november we will see though because it'll be pretty cold so i think i'm gonna go with this tonight and for right now we are going to get ready do our makeup Yay, I'm literally so excited. I think I'm gonna do the beach flavor on my hair because I think it would look really cute and then just kind of fun for the night. So then I can put glitter everywhere.
Okay, I am all ready to go. As you can see, I ended up waving my hair, put a little bit of, can you see it? Pink eyeshadow on. I have this cute little necklace that my roommate got me for Christmas and it is from Etsy. These little cheap sunglasses I got at a sorority event. And then um, ignore the giveaway pile sitting right here. I have the cutest little dress. This is from Dry Goods and I, it's a store that I recently discovered and I'm obsessed. It just ties up here at the top and I like tied it around my bra. And I did put stickies here and then also up on the shoulders. I think it would be fine like on a normal day, but because we'll be doing like a lot of jumping, I was a little bit concerned about <laughs> everything coming out. So I did put some stickies on just for safety. And then I'm just gonna wear these like nasty Air Force Ones that I have because who knows what else gonna happen here. Um, and then of course my cutie little sequined purse i love her she is from loft and it actually fits like quite a bit i don't have anything in here right now but it's actually pretty big and this is really nice it doesn't catch on anything i am so excited let's get going Love to see it yeah. all the way home. Uh oh. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> we just got back. I treated friendship bracelets with so many people. It was so much fun, as you saw. I'm going to eat a snack, take off my makeup, and go to bed. So and drink some water. I only had two drinks the entire night, including pre gaming. So it really wasn't that much. But I definitely need to drink some water and get to bed. Um, it is 12.01. The party ended at like right after 11.30, so nothing crazy, but I am definitely tired. I'm going to be tired tomorrow because I was screaming my lungs out the whole time. I had so much fun. Definitely go check out my TikTok if you wanted to see kind of the full night. I definitely included a few more clips in there, and I just had the best time. Good morning. I woke up pretty late today, like at like 10 a.m., and just kind of was unwell i literally had two drinks over three hours last night it was just kind of like i woke up with a really big headache i was dancing a lot last night and having a lot of fun so jumping and screaming and i paid for that this morning because my head was pounding but i'm doing so much better i had some breakfast took a shower and now i am all ready we're gonna go to the farmer's market i just have on this cute little dress which is also from dry goods just like yesterday I'm gonna bring my little tote bag and then of course i have to wear my madewell shoes just because they're comfy to walk in and we do walk to the farmer's market from our house i've done so much walking this weekend but honestly it's been so fun we've just had a great time so let's go to the farmer's market As you just saw, we just got back from the farmer's market. It was so fun. I'll give you guys a little haul in a second. But now I am all changed. We're going to sit out in the back. I'm going to do a little bit of crocheting. The cutest little coaster. I got this for my great-grandmother because she can actually like see it really well. So I got this for her um, just to have something from Nashville whenever I go home for Easter. And then I got the cutest Kindle case. So I actually have this type of dog at home this little cavalier king charles spaniel so so cute i thought it was adorable and then the inside is this little pattern and it's padded so my kindle will fit in here so well i've been wanting a new case for it so this is like the perfect little sleeve to be able to carry it around on trips and then i also got 
this lotion it smells literally so good what else oh i got this ring which i showed you guys but there she is so cutie so many good farmers market finds we're gonna go lay out because it is just the most beautiful day i'm gonna try something new with crocheting so hopefully it goes well we'll see <laughs> bright i've been sitting out here for a little while and it's finally coming out i have been doing a little um coaster and this little scalloped edge it is so cute i love it i kind of look tan i'm kind of living for it but emma went to go get her boyfriend so i've just been sitting out here this is taking me a while but i did watch a youtube tutorial and she was so helpful and this is just so cute i love it it's so cute obviously it's not perfect but this is my first try. I've never done like the magic circle or anything before. So this is perfect. Although I will say I did this whole thing and the color never changed. Like I thought the color would change more, but we're still in white. <laughs> so it's fine. But yeah, I'm so excited. It looks so good in my opinion. Okay, I told myself I could go to Chick-fil-A for dinner, but only if I got whatever was free. So whatever I could buy with my points. I got a whole meal because I've been saving my points. This girl right here. So I got a free chicken sandwich from doing the survey the other day. And then I got a small fry, couldn't afford the medium fry. And then I got a sweet tea because this was honestly the reason I went. I have chicken and fries in my freezer, but I was like, I really want a Chick-fil-A sweet tea. So I used all of my free things. And so I have a free dinner and I am going to sit and eat it, maybe on the porch, because honestly that'd be kind of nice. So I might just sit on the porch and eat before I go inside. prepping some cookies because you know we have to have a sweet treat and I went ahead and, and pre-starting the oven so that while I'm eating the oven will pre-start and then I can throw these in and then I'll have a little dessert of course you know we always have to be thinking ahead in this household look at this man get down get down eating our new plants Emma put hers over here I put mine over here because critter critter did get into the plant just a little bit so this poor little leaf i literally left it on the counter for five minutes while i was preparing my food and of course he found it but on this little pot is so cute i think what i'm gonna have to do is because this pot has no drainage i'm gonna like cut this bottom part and then put that in there and just put some soil on top of it um so that it can still drain and breathe a little bit at the bottom but we literally sat there and decided which pink plant I should get. I thought that this one was perfect, and then I just had to get this little pot to go with it. So, this is going to be my tester. One thing about me is I don't have a very big green thumb, so it's a little bit more difficult for me to keep plants alive. However, we're going to give it a shot because I have to learn how to keep plants alive. I feel like that's kind of a necessity in life is keeping plants alive. So... This is going to be my tester. My roommate Emma is really good at keeping plants alive. She's a great green thumb. We have plants all over the house that are hers. So she's going to give me some tips and she's teaching me already a lot about plants. So I feel kind of silly when it comes to it because I'm like, I have no clue what I'm doing, but she's great. She already knows what she's doing. So I trust her and she's going to tell me as we go along. <laughs> I also decided to eat inside. I'm literally gonna sit right here and eat. Maybe find or like watch my crochet pattern one more time just so that I can get it down and then make some more coasters. Yay! Also yesterday we got a feeder. Oh my goodness, for birds. And now look, we have birdie friends. Are they, oh, oh they left. Okay, well they were there. And Critter sits right here and he watches them. Did you see them, buddy? Did you see the birds? Oh, 
on. <laughs> He's so upset because I chased them away. I'm so sorry. But they always come into this tree. So we figured if we had a little bird feeder, they'd love it. And they have been loving it. They are there all the time. And it's so spring and fun now. Honestly, I feel like I could talk about this for a while. But my seasonal depression has finally left. I feel like I have never really experienced seasonal depression like I have living here. Um, and that's nothing to say like about Nashville or anything. That's all to do with like me. Um, this is my first like winter as an adult, having a full-time job. And also, I don't know, like just kind of like the weather. It was cold, it was dreary, we couldn't get outside. I literally went to from work and then tried to hang out with friends, but just not feeling very motivated and not feeling very, um, I don't know how you put it. Like just, I just didn't feel like doing anything. I barely felt like getting out of bed in the morning. It was really difficult for me to get out of bed. And it still a little bit is, but the spring is definitely helping. I've been out in the sun a lot more like you saw today, yesterday, just trying to like, take walks and sit outside and do things that are good for me and hopefully get a little bit more vitamin d um and it's really really been helping i've just it's yeah it's been rough honestly the past few months but my friends and critter of course um everybody is just helping me get through it and i'm really excited because for easter weekend um which is two weekends from now i get to go home for christmas <laughs> for christmas I get to go home for Easter two weekends from now, so that's really exciting, and that's really going to help me a lot, I think. So, all that to say, the spring has definitely been clearing up my seasonal depression. I've never experienced that truly before, so... Because I, I feel like in college, I was still walking the classes and everything. Like, I was still outside. I had to be outside. I had to be social. So, it's just, it's different as an adult. I would definitely say for sure. Like, I've never experienced it like I have before. So, definitely learning how to cope with that. Learning how to manage that. It's new. It's different. But that's okay. You know, we have to do it, sadly. She has so many great characters in romance, which is always so fun. This is so random, and you guys like might not understand at all, but <laughs> MK, my best friend, and I have been trying to have our parents meet for like a year and a half at least. We've been really good friends. We went to Italy together. Like We've traveled a lot together. We have more travel plans in the near future. We're going to Alaska, Nashville, North Carolina this year. Like We, we travel a lot. We see each other a lot. We talk every day. So we've tried to get our parents to meet because they're also the same people. Like they're both optometrists. Both of our moms work with our dads as like the manager of the front office. They're literally like, the same exact people. And we have tried to get them to meet so many times. My parents are in Barbados this weekend and I didn't realize what they were there for. They're there for like a continued education event for optometry. Um, I just get sent this photo. That's my parents and MK's parents together in Barbados. They were like, guess who we're having dinner with? I said, Taylor Swift. They sent me this photo. What? That's so funny. That's so crazy. Like, what are the odds? We have been trying so hard to orchestrate a meeting in between our parents for like two years. And all it took was them going to Barbados. Because neither of us realized that our parents were going to Barbados or we didn't realize that they were going there for a reason. So we would have tried to organize like some sort of meeting. I have been trying so hard and I didn't even have to try. It was going to happen anyways. But <laughs> what are the odds? I'm sure I'll hear the story later. But like, that's so funny. Like, life is so weird. You never know. Okay, so I just got ready for bed. I did get... I don't even know if you can see. I did get a little bit sunburned today. Just on my chest a little bit. It's okay. It won't happen again though. I was like, oh, I won't need sunscreen. I always say that and then I do. And Critter is chewing on my doorstop. I have not seen this man in hours. And then I opened the shower curtain and he's sitting on the toilet. I was like, hello. I haven't seen you in a while. And now he's all up in my work purse. Thanks. Thanks so much. He's being so lovey right now though. He's purring. You can go. Thanks. Bye.